Hell, here you would like to calculate the minimum force required to pull a body whose mass is equal to say for example m. There are again two points that we need to consider. What is the minimum force required depends on how do we apply the force. For example, if we have applied the force like this, F applied, then the frictional force obviously start acts in the opposite direction and the body will be start moving only when applied force is greater than that of the maximum frictional force. What happens if the applied force is less than that of the maximum frictional force? As we have explained earlier in some other uh, video that the static frictional force is a self-adjusting force. Therefore, applied force will be equal to the frictional force and the body will remain in the state of rest itself. If we apply a force more than the maximum static frictional force, then the body starts uh, moving. Once if the body is is in the state of the motion, we can say it is having a resultant force acting on it. What is the direction of resultant force? F applied force minus F frictional force and its direction is along the direction of the applied force itself. We can say Ma using the Newton's second law as F applied force minus frictional force. So the acceleration acting on the body developed in the body could be written like by mass. We can further write this equation like F applied force, external force, mu into normal reaction, in this case normal reaction equal to mg by m. This is the acceleration applied by the acting on the body because you have applied some force. But practically this is not the case that always that say for example if you want to pull a suitcase on a railway platform. We never pull the suitcase like this. See how this suitcase is pulled? It is pulled horizontally. But do we pull the suitcase on the floor like this? No, actually. We will pull the suitcase by holding it with our hand where our hand is actually making some angle with the horizontal. So in our practical life, we do apply the force like this by making an angle theta with the horizontal. If we have to apply the force like it is shown in the previous case, in the first case, we have to lay down on the floor and pull it. See, we will never do that, right? We will pull it like what I have shown in the case too. So, in this second case, I would like to derive the minimum equation, minimum force required. Let us do it in the next slide. Okay, then let us consider a situation where you have applied a force F making an angle theta to the horizontal. Before going to talk about the applied force, the body must be having some mass, therefore its weight will be always acting in the downward direction. As you are trying to pull the body from left to right, the frictional force will definitely come into the picture, which is opposing the relative motion. But look at this force, it is neither along the horizontal direction nor along the vertical direction. Then I want to know who is contributing the displacement, who is contributing, which part of the force is causing the motion. Basing on the resolution of the vectors, we can resolve this force into two components. This is the cos component and this is the sin component. The adjacent component will be always the cos component basing on the definition of the cos theta as adjacent side by hypothesis and the vertical component will be always sin component. One more important thing that you need to know is, see the direction of the frictional force that you have applied. This force is going away from the origin. The components of any vector will always have the same direction of the vector. As this vector is going away from the origin, this component also shall be going away from the origin and this component also shall be going away from the origin. Therefore, it is very clear that F cos theta is only contributing the motion. F sin theta is not trying to move the body in the horizontal direction. Rather, it is trying to move the body in vertically upward direction. In a way, our body is not a, no way moving in a vertically upward direction. So, it is not causing any motion. Now, I would like to write what is the normal reaction acting in this case. We can say normal reaction is the force applied by the lower surface on the upper surface which is a reaction 
with respect to the force applied by the upper surface on the lower surface. Here you can see the weight of the body is always definitely acting in the downward direction. Against it, normal reaction will act with equal magnitude. And you can see that the F sin theta component is acting against it. That means the resultant force applied by the upper body and the lower body is mg minus F sin theta. And the normal reaction also will have the same magnitude but in the opposite direction. Hence, what is the frictional force is? We know the basic definition as mu into normal reaction. So, mu into normal reaction is mg minus F sin theta. This is the maximum static frictional force that can act in the picture. And the force that we are applying to move the body is F cos theta, is trying to move the body. So, if we have applied a force f cos theta that is less than the frictional force, body will never move. We have to apply a force at least equal to that of the frictional force. Suppose we have applied a force more than the frictional force, then the body starts moving from left to right. Then we can write f resultant acting on the body is f cos theta which is trying to move minus frictional force which is acting against the motion. So, we can write according to Newton's second law, F resultant is Ma, F cos theta minus, we know the value of the frictional force that we have derived in the previous step as F sin theta. We can further simplify this equation as Ma equal to F cos theta minus mu mg, minus of minus will be plus F sin theta, right. Suppose we just want to move the body without an acceleration, we want to just move the body with a certain velocity, we did not have any acceleration. Then we can equate the acceleration to 0. Then what happens? F cos theta minus mu mg plus F sin theta will become 0. Therefore, F of cos theta plus sin theta is equal to mu mg. Then we can write the force required, the minimum force required to move the body without giving any acceleration, only giving a only giving a constant velocity can be written like uh, mu mg by cos theta and uh, there is of course uh, yeah there is a mu missing earlier. It is actually ma equal to f cos theta minus of mu of mg minus f sin theta. Therefore, we have to multiply with the mu. Therefore, there will be the mu term with mg as well as the sin theta. So, there will be a mu with the sin theta term, mu with the sin theta term. So, by simplifying that, uh, we can write an equation as uh, f equal to mu mg cos theta, mu mg by cos theta and uh, mu sin theta. Anyway, if you remember, we have proved that angle of friction, we can say, let us represent with this term something like psi, mu equal to tan phi. So, I want to express the same answer in terms of the angle of friction. Therefore, I will rewrite my above equation as f is equal to, in the place of mu, I will write tan phi and mg by cos theta and again in the place of the mu I will be writing tan phi and sin theta. We can rewrite this tan phi as sin phi by cos phi mg and cos theta sin phi by cos phi and sin theta. Let us simplify these terms further, we can prove it as f equal to mg sin phi by cos phi whole divided by cos theta cos phi plus sin theta sin phi whole divided by cos phi. We can cancel this cos phi and cos phi and we can prove further f as mg 
sin phi whole divided can be written like cos of theta minus phi. This is the minimum force required to move a body in a horizontal direction when the force applied is with an angle theta and the phi is here angle of the friction. Suppose you have pulled it with an angle theta in such a way that that is equal to the angle of the friction itself then what happens to the f value mg sin phi by cos phi minus phi it will become cos 0 cos 0 equal to 1 therefore it will become the least required value so to pull a body with a minimum force you need a minimum value of something like a mg sin phi or we can also call it like a mg sin theta anyway because theta is equal to the 